Hello, hi, how's it going? It's me. Um, hoping everything is working correctly. I'm just kind of checking things. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Game audio seems pretty loud in my ear hole. <laughs> so give me, give me a second. Reduce that a bit. Okay, let's ignore that and uh, jump back into Stardew Valley. Um, as you can see, my, my main game, I am rolling in the coin. And I'm wearing the same outfit that I wore before. I did not realize that. That's pretty cool. Um, but in this in this game, let's uh, try and focus on the task at hand, which is expanding our storage and trying to, I don't know, make some progress in the in the quests ahead of us. I don't know how long I'm going to play exactly. Um, got some things going on this evening, which is kind of why I'm I'm playing right now. So yeah, just gonna just relax and chill. Uh, my sources tell me that you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the Forest Lake in the Stone Tower. I may have information concerning your uh, rat problem. Okay. Not a, not a bad place to start my day. It's raining, so I don't have to water anything. Just going to mosey on over. And chill. Relax. That's what I love about this game. It is like one of the more relaxing games to just kind of sit down and play. And I don't usually uh, get bored playing it for two hours. Some some other games I'll, I'll get hella bored um, if I sit here for two hours and play. Um, I've been playing Hades off screen. Off stream. And... That's been fun. I've been uh, making some more permanent upgrades here and there. So it's nice. Journal updated. Ah, come in. Already did, sir. Already did. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Mediary between physical and ethereal. Master of the Seven Elementals. Keeper of the Sacred Ch you, you get the point. Champion of the Purple Hair. And you, Mike, the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Here, I'd like to show you something. Behold. Look at that. Just created matter out of nothing. Breaking the laws of humanity. You've seen one before, haven't you? They call themselves the Junimos. Junimos? Mysterious spirits, these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Can you interpret my thought bubble? I found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Most interesting. I concur. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. Deuces. Okay. He just walked through the front door. I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Junimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true nature of this scroll. Hmm, one with the forest. What do they mean? Sniffing. Sniffing the stuff in the pot. 
Aha. Uh -huh. Come here, he says. As if I have a choice in this cutscene. It's kind of running its own course. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. This dude is weird with a capital weird. You can drink this potion, you don't have to worry about the coronavirus vaccine, that's for sure. That's for sure. Whoa, trippy. I dig this little soundtrack bite. I don't dig the, uh, the trees coming closer to me. Not a fan of that, that, I don't, nope. I want none of that. Made my face all green. You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Okay, that was that was weird. Glad we did it. Um, I did. I thought it said something about my journal and that it updated. Right. Oh, whatever. Not gonna question, not gonna question it too much. What was I doing last time? I can't remember. I can't, I can't seem to recollect what I wanna do. Advancement, reach farming level one, craft a square, craft. Okay, so I think my, my idea was to gather materials so that um, I can build some buildings, and the best, easiest way to maybe do that is to clear out what I can. Yeah, my pickaxe isn't strong enough there. Um, just in this open space of my farm. It's going to waste a lot of energy, but that's okay. We need materials. Try and get to every exposed stone that I can. I didn't pick up that rock there. Silly me, silly Billy. So yeah, as I was saying before, this is just kind of a very chill game choice that I'm gonna go with for my, uh, for my stream as of right now. Hades was high action, and I, I, I really enjoy Hades, but I, I'm in the mood for something a bit more um, relaxing as we get ready to transition into February, and I can't believe it is February already. Like, next week is February, meaning I have, oh, let's see. Just under, it'll, by next month, it'll just be under nine months uh, until I get married in real life. Not not in Stardew Valley land, just in real life. And there's a lot to do between now and then. And I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Looking forward to a lot of different milestones that uh, I'll be hitting this year. Personally and professionally. Uh, certainly setting up to be better than uh, 2020, just as a whole. 2020 was a difficult year for a lot of people, and um, I was not immune to, to that, the challenges of 2020. That's putting it nicely, I think. So I'm looking forward to 2021. What about you, chat? Anything you're excited for about 2021? Like I said before, for me, it's, it's my, my wedding in September. Um, super pumped about that. If you, if you have anything exciting, let me know in chat or in the comments. If you're on uh, YouTube responding a, a day after this was uh, recorded, I'll get back to you. 
I, I tend to answer my YouTube comments, actually, as best as I can. Happy to interact with anybody. That's nice. It's nice to interact with people. Ooh, I got a geode. Nice. That's exciting. What's my energy doing? Uh, it is low. Very low, in fact. Let's see if there's anything for me to to snack on. Nah, nothing. Nothing quite yet. But I will sell the fiber and that's it. Looking forward to fully furnishing your house? That's a good thing to be looking forward to. I'd look forward to that too. It's funny you mentioned that. Uh, we're kind of like what am I doing? Kind of like uh, investigating what's next for us living lives. And that's an exciting thing to be uh, doing the home ownership thing. That's a, that, that's cool. We, we rent currently, so I think that's probably our next step. Who's to say? Things could change at the drop of a hat. I have no food. I need. I guess I need to forage and find something. Hey, look! I foraged and found something. I'm gonna eat you. Thanks for the energy. Let's see if I can find more. I have to look at the stream, as I mentioned last time, to see um what my energy status is. And I think maybe on the next day, on the morrow, as uh, ye old adventurers would see, say, say, uh, on the morrow, I'm going to maybe investigate the mine. See if that could be an opportunity to generate some money. I'd very much like it to be an opportunity to generate some money. There's a lot of things in Stardew Valley that I can't wait to just unlock. Just like quality of life, convenience type things. And the biggest thing is like the, the mine carts and being able to travel quickly or quicker. What do you mean I don't have room in my inventory, you fool? All right, now I got to go donate this and do this whole thing. Just because I have the materials in my back pocket, I should have dropped it off. I didn't. I wasn't planning on going to there, but that's where I ended up. So this is going to be a boring five minutes of back and forth. That's fine. Or I could do nah, nah talking to myself, talking myself out of things. Limestone. Nice. I got limestone. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I thought it was close. Um, this is the worst possible way to be doing this, too. I should have just stuck those things in my chest and that <sighs> my my stardew is rusty it's obvious I'm not fully with it not fully with it at all Sell the limestone. <laughs> um, I'll put the copper in my chest here because I probably won't be needing it. The same thing with the coal, actually. And the place is probably going to be closed by the time I get there. So we are shifting focus, changing gears. 
Looks like foraging is the thing to do. Foraging. We will forage. Yeah, I see you up there in the corner. Looking cute. Dandelion. Mine. My dandelion. I know that I, there was something over by uh, the, the blacksmith. He's a blacksmith, right? That feels an accurate description of his occupation. There's something I could pick up there. I can't wait to get to the point where I'm making so much gold that I don't know what to do with. It's going to take half a year minimum so I can start expanding things and artisan goods and all the happy nonsense that comes with owning animals we'll get milk we'll have cheese we could we could do cheese eventually it's an exciting time um my pockets are full again see i this is why i desperately need like the 2000 gold to just boost up my pockets need i need more pocket space to put more things in so I'm not restricted by space. You feel me? I feel like in a weird mood. I feel like I'm in a weird mood. <laughs> and Stardew's bringing me down to, to normal. I guess. As normal as I can be anyway. Um, okay. I know there's the uh, adage of spending money to make money, but my, my priority is uh, definitely getting to a point where my pockets are big. That's, don't let me forget that that's the thing I want to do. I want big pockets. Because I can easily get distracted in this game. I don't think there was anything else to forage here, but I'm going to look. Oh, there's these things. They're fun. Trilobite. Glass shards. Maybe I can catch one fish. Just one. I'm not going to be picky. I just want one fish. Oh, look at that cast. That was gorgeous. I look gorgeous. Come on. Work with me. Nope. 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 You're mine. Thank you. A 12 inch herring with a silver star. Goodness gracious, that was good. Happy about that. Um, will this tell me anything about it? That's something I should... I, I, I think I can cook it. I feel like I can cook it. But I also want to know how much it sells for. I'm going to sell it. Try and get as close to the 2,000 as possible. And then call it a night. Alright, I sell you. And the artifacts can be donated, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna sell those. But I will shove them in here for another day. When I feel like going... Uh, same thing with the geode. When I feel like going over that way, and that's like my task for the day, I'll go that direction. Yes, I would like to sleep for the night. Show me the money. I need 700 gold pieces. I can make a staircase now, so that's pretty cool. How disappointing. <laughs> the herring was worth 37. That's sad. That makes me sad. <laughs> That's okay. 
All right. Routine time where we uh water the things with our poorly designed little farm space. Do not want to talk about it. We're just going to leave that alone. And then... I have a turnip. I really want to go to the mine. But I don't, I just don't have the pockets for it. So I think I might... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Locked. Right. Alright, I think today is a day where I'm going to fish a bunch and try and forage and get some money. Sell the daffodils, sell the dandelions. I'm going to keep the turnip in my pocket. Where am I going? What's a good place? Let's do this path. I believe I can catch fish here, right? Or trash. The game will tell me in due time, I'm sure. Love the music. Oh, I got something. Come on. I am failing so much. This fish is stubborn. Stubborn city. Come here. I got a chub. Alright, that's fine. If anything, it'll provide me energy for when I do decide to go to the mine, so I'm not hating it completely. Ooh, algae. Something different. What a toss. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I'm going to lose this fish. I'm going to lose it. Fishing is not straightforward in this game at all. Alright, how much energy do they give? 25? So, 2. And then the algae gives energy too, right? Yeah, so if I do decide to go to the mine, which at this point will be on a tomorrow day, then I'll have, I'll have enough. That, that's what I'm going to do. Decision made. Um, okay. In the meantime, I'm going to continue. Give me all the things you have for me, game. Toss this wooden stuff in my chest, then come back and get the pine cones and sap and coal. Treat 
trees are nice, but they're kind of also very annoying. Just take up space. Satisfied with that. I've got a plan. It's not a great plan, but I've got a plan. Wasn't I supposed to get, like, a cat? Also, does that happen at a certain event? Might be an events-based thing. Lots of sap. Uh, yeah, I'll get rid of the coal. I won't get rid of the wood, though. That'll be useful. here real quick and then on you you and you we're going into town This, uh, the early game in Stardew Valley does drag a bit, but eventually it picks up, and there's a lot you can do in one day, and the next thing you know, it's, uh, 2 a.m. What's up, gang? How's it hanging? I have things for you. I have some glass shards and a trilobite, just for you. And you gave me seeds. Cauliflower, I like cauliflower. Plant in the spring. Can do, my dude. Well, let's see what these uh, geodes are all about. Earth crystal. I did this again, didn't I? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I just don't plan my pockets out out well. Goodness. How about you, uh, chat? Did you have a good day today? I had a good day. It's a little busy, a little chaotic at times, but that's okay. What's up? Oh, hi, it's good to see you again. Good to see you too. Tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. There are a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. Great outlook. I agree with that. No matter what uh, challenges you've got going on, if you make a difference in somebody's life, that, that's good. Wrong thing. Sunfish, get out of here, you you crazy billboard. I'm not going sunfishing. I've got a cauliflower to plant. Think I have time to catch sunfish? Nah. Not today. Got cauliflower to plant. Mines to explore tomorrow. It just doesn't fit in the schedule to catch a sunfish. Let's go in from this side. All right, make that make it nice. Planting, planting, 
planting. And then we gotta water the cauliflower. Which takes a year. Because we have the most basic water can. Mark my words, when we have a sprinkler, my garden's gonna be lit. Let's uh, fill this up. Collect the acorns and pine cones that I seem to have neglected. sell the things. Another thing that I want to look up when I get to it is like the different schedules of the characters in this game because you can get like exclusive events based on what time you potentially can encounter um, somebody. I need to look that up. Eventually. I'm, I don't think I'm at the point where I'm equipped to do that. There's a frog. Just hopping away. plant those seeds. See what they bring me. So the fiber, I know there are many uses for fiber, I just uh, don't care. <laughs> Events are accompanied by friendship levels with the character. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Um, and that depends on, like, items you gift them, if you give them their favorite item and stuff like that. I'm just uh, not at a point where I want to think about all those, like, combinations right now. I'm just focused on expanding and making some progress here. Give me one second. Okay. <sighs> that was just enough time for my 8 p.m. bedtime. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with me as I responded to a text message. Appreciate the patience. Ooh, I can cook a survival burger, whatever that is. Look at all that money. Good morning. No, I don't want to sleep for the night. Stop it, cursor. Oh, there's the cat I had mentioned. Hello, Mike. You see this cat here? Found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor little thing. I think it likes this place. Hey, uh, don't you think a farm could use a good cat? Yeah, I'll adopt this cat. That's a bad name. 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 Okay, doing my own. I will name it after my own gray kitty. At home. Casper. That's Casper. Well, little Casper, you be a good kitty now, okay? Cute. All right, we have a letter to open. Dear Farmer Mike, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday. That's where I can help. If you can bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. The first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. 
How nice. Everything needs to be watered, though. I guess my green beans died. Or I didn't water it properly? They weren't ready to harvest. That's interesting, to say the least. Okay. Water there. Water there. This takes a lot of time. And I hate it. Make sure I water everything twice, apparently. <laughs> Alright. I'm satisfied with the amount of time I spent there. Let's, uh... Let's try and explore the, the little cave mineshaft area a bit. I'd certainly like to have a sword, but... Beggars can't be choosers right now. Ooh, horseradish. <laughs> I'm just gonna go for it. Let's see what's what down here. Does he give me a sword? I, th I guess he does give me a sword. I was just peering down here into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there, but a dark place, undisturbed for so long. I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Ah. Man. I'm on top of it. <laughs> I received a rusty sword. Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Thank you, Marlin. Reach level 5 in the mine. You betcha I'm going to do that. I'm running out of pockets. This is great. Alright, down we go. So, the mine is like my favorite part of the game because you have to kind of like be aware of your energy but you have to find these uh ladders that go down to the next level and you can get to up to level 100 and the further down you go more likely it is to uh, encounter more difficult enemies. Oh, eat the parsnip, collect the slime. Beautiful. Um. Oh, that was lucky. But I want the copper. You want to fight? You want to fight, bro? But again, like the further you go down, the harder the enemies are. But the better the loot, the better the ore. I'm slimed. I'm super slimed. Slime all over the place. Alright, so there seems to be some stuff over here. And you can eventually uh, upgrade everything get better swords and um, gear just takes ooh I want that that is something that definitely belongs in my pocket we'll eat the algae for that amethyst give me give me amethyst I always take amethyst that's something I'm, I'll contemplate selling all right I think I am ready to go down a level because I do want to get to level 5, at least. 120 floors. Oh. Alright. See how quickly one forgets? And I would be the one. I forgot. Yeah, I know the ladder is there, but I kind of also like exploring the different areas.
those should be like the cave carrots, I think. I'll get rid of the slime. I don't need that. Oh, some hardwood. That's exciting. That's different. Yeah, I want the quartz, too. Dang. I want everything. I want whatever gets me the most money. Right now, I think quartz fits the bill. Come here, slime. Why does that one love me? That's weird. Thanks for the ladder. Let's see what's down here. Okay, I was checking my uh, my energy level. It's all right for now. Slime wants to fight. slime. Drop some algae. I don't care about that. Alright, now I have to hunt for the ladder. Which is just a bunch of rock breaking. Breaking rocks. The least exciting part about the mine. <laughs> yeah. Leave me alone, slime. Yeah, I did, didn't I? I did want to change the settings. I forget how possible that is. Options. There we go. That should do it. <laughs> yeah, it did. All right. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. Totally forgot about that. You are feisty. Feisty slime. It's such a little thing, but it's so great to be able to see where you're aiming. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'll keep going. Eat a fish. So tasty. So good. After this, I'll probably be able to upgrade one of my tools. It's just a matter of which one. Probably the watering can first. I'm thinking. That's the one that has the most immediate benefit in my eyes. Which would be like a larger area that you can uh, water plants. Save some time there. Because time is of the essence. Okay. You look like you wanted to fight, bro. Nope. Wow. Thanks for giving me that. I do want to explore this level a little bit, though. And eat the chub. Yummy chub. Poof, you're gone. It's 
stab, stab, swing, 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 swing. I, okay, I guess I'll take the algae, or the slime ball. There's probably a benefit eventually. I think there's something with like, <laughs> what, you could, there's like a slime factory you can build. I haven't, I have it on my other file. I haven't explored it too much though. Alright, let's go down this one. Alright, 6.30. Gotta keep an eye on that time. I'd like to get to level 10. That would be nice. Do that. Want this. Oh, there's an earth crystal there. Some quartz. It's nice. Alright. Gotta deal with these enemies, though. Ah, I got slimed. Slimed in the face. I picked up the quartz, though. Smacking him too far away. I want the other cords. Groovy. Groovy to the max. Alright, so that's there. Um, I want the bug meat. That's what I want. I'm curious about the bug meat. Yeah, got there. Cool. Leather boots. Well, bug meat might have to go away. Yeah, I'll get rid of the bug meat. And then put my boots on. Nice. I look great. I'd say that was a successful spelunking adventure. I got amethyst, I got a ton of copper, got some quartz. That should be enough to expand my pockets, I think. Like I'll sell the quartz. I can you I can give the amethyst as a gift. But right now, my, my priorities are expanding my pockets. I don't care about friendships just yet. We want that money. That cash. My cat's in bed. Okay. Let's... Bake some copper. Hello there, little little Casper. <laughs> Casper the cat. Hold on. Okay. Gosh darn text messages disrupting my time playing Stardew Valley. I could ignore them. I could. But that's rude. These are people that need responses now. For those, Let's see how much money I earn. Tomorrow could be a busy day in Stardew Valley for Friend Farm owner me, resident Casper.
two more ingots to bake. Yeah, my house could use an expansion too. A lot of things to accomplish. Not enough time in the world. Wow, that is darkness. Super duper dark. I apologize for that. Can't really see anything. I guess that's the point, but still. Yikes. Thank you. Time to snooze. Yep. Sleeping for the night. I need at least 200 here, and I'll be happy. Are you kidding me? 175? I'm right there! Alright, I need 20, 20 coins. So you've been exploring the old mine. You've got the adventurous spirit, that much I can tell. If you can slay ten slimes, you will have earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Be careful, Marlin. Thanks, Marlin. Missing. I lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return ASAP. Having a tough time without it. There's 250 gold in it for whoever finds the thing. Ooh. That sounds worthwhile. It just dawned on me that I might be overwatering things. Is that a thing? Is that why things are dying? Nah, that can't be. That, could it be? I don't know. I do need to fill up uh, my watering can. I was hoping those green beads would be of uh, better quality. Not so lucky. Oh, can't have that open. Close that. Overwatering is not a thing. I didn't think so. I can rely on you to tell me if it is or not, though. As always, Manderson. You have to play this game on stream. It, it's, it's your destiny. <laughs> I'm telling it now. You must. Stones go there. I'm not sure where Robin's axe is. I bet you it's in the mine somewhere. Zero ten slimes. Find Robin's lost axe. I really don't know. I don't know where Robin's axe is. You be my friend? You my friend now? Friend? What do you want? Leave me alone. Okay. I like a challenge. It's in the forest. Alright. Trust in you. Nope. Trust in you. And yeah, I think it's a good idea to maybe vary the, the games you play. That's why I switched from Hades to Stardew, and I'll probably go back to Hades on like uh, like one-off stream times. Or just, I, I'm constantly trying to uh, prevent myself from spicking, spicking, picking up Stardew Valley. And um, I went the wrong direction. Because it's just such a fun game to unwind from the day with. So I'm fighting myself and picking up and playing it. But with Hades, I can spend time grinding off screen and nobody's really going to be upset at that. At least in my opinion. Ooh, it smells.
Why is it locked? I want to explore the sewers. I think Gunther has the key. Gunther has the key. Professor Gunther, the man who runs the museum, why do you think he has it? I saw a big rusty old key fall out of his pocket one time. A creepy sewer door like this has just got to be a match for a big rusty old key. I cannot refute that logic, actually. That holds up. Spooky. Scary. There's something moving around in there. If you say so. I hate seeing the garbage. It's gross. Garbage does not belong on the beach. Okay, let's find this uh, trusty axe. Like the, the forest that's like an offshoot over here? Is that the forest you mean? That's not unlocked yet, I don't think. It can't be, can it? No, there should be like a big log in the way, yeah. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm not paying attention. Get out of my way, materials. That could certainly be where it's at. Inventory full. Stop it. Farther down. Just where you are. Okay farther down where I'm chilling. We'll see. Inventory is full. I don't want this stone. Give me that. I'll explore this entire area. Hmm. Horseradish? I think the music in this game is severely underrated. Ah, you're right. There it is. There's a thing. Um, let's get rid of the daffodil for the lost axe. Better return it to Robin. Thanks for the tip, Manderson. Top notch as always. You're not Robin, but I'm going to talk to you. There's actually a lot of wild food in this area if you knew where to look. If only. Now we have to make the journey over to to Rob and I'm going the wrong direction again. I wish this had an option like in Pokemon where you can just like open up the map and fly to the location you want to be at. That would be nice. I would I would appreciate that. But no, you have to waste long amounts of time. Hey, check it out. I found your axe. What a relief. I almost chopped my toe off the with the other one I was using. Thank you. No problem. Give me that gold. Oh, you know what that means. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm excited. This is... Super duper fun. We're getting bigger pockets, dude. The 
with bigger pockets means I can hold more food. Yes. Give me that. Amazing. Got the large pack. Inventory space has increased to 24. Oh my goodness. Look at all this. This is... Heavenly. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm so excited. We're gonna go to Clint. That's, that's what we're gonna do. Process some geodes. As many as we can. With the, uh... The money we have. Get some artifacts, donate to Gunther, get the key. It's, it's all falling into place. It's all falling into place. Copper. Earth crystal. Stones. Coal. That thing. Thunder egg. That's cool. Thunder egg. It sounds intimidating. Yes, I would like to donate one thunder egg to you, sir. Thank you. Wait. Never mind. I thought I saw something that I obviously wasn't there. What am I do? Actually, I don't have the money. Never mind. I corrected myself. We're fine. Everything's good. Let's see. Just want to buy recipes. Actually, yeah, that would be a fine use of my money. Buy a recipe. I'm okay with that. Because eventually I'll get myself a, a home. Stupid microphone stand getting in my way. Alright, I got things to sell. Time is money. And money is earth crystals. Gotta keep my uh, valuables in here. Actually, I can. I have just enough to do an ingot. One ingot. Come on. Get in my pocket. Mine. Store that away for a rainy day. Okay. Look at Casper just chilling in the corner there. That's fun. Why is my coal there? That's not where my coal goes. Coal goes in the other spot. Okay. And now I have materials. I can kind of just chill in my pocket at all times. And I'll gather more. Yeah. Alright, I think this will be a location for... One of the animal pens, whether it's the chicken coop or something different. Oh man, there's a thing there that might need to be cleared. And the rock. Uh, this tree is kind of annoying me. So it needs to go. I don't have any good reason why it, it's annoying me. It just is. So it, it needs to not be there. Cool. This, I want totally cleared off. This is 
going to be another location for some sky crops. Some elevated crops go up here. Trust me, it makes sense in my head, so it, it's it's real. So yeah, I hope you don't mind that I uh, decided to stream a little earlier today. I'm playing around with different schedules and trying to see what works. This semester I have classes on Tuesday, so my original schedule of like Tuesdays and Thursdays, just not going to work. Not going to jive. Not cool with that. So I decided to do Mondays and Wednesdays. Let's see if that sticks. I just had to modify it tonight um because i have another thing going on this evening but if this like 4 p.m time works i might stick with it i don't know i have to figure out what i'm happy with i mean ultimately i'm just happy that i'm doing it but i want to be at least consistent so that those watching know when to expect me to go live not just uh random time on the day. So it's a, it's a little experimentation right now. Lovely. Rain again. Tomorrow we're holding the Egg Festival in the Town Square. You should arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you'd like to attend. You wouldn't want to miss the annual egg hunt. Not me. Of course not. You're not harvestable yet, I don't think. Okay. I see no reason to putz around here when I can go into the mine and try and get some more valuable materials. Right? What are, what are my... Yeah, slimes and then going into the mine. That's, that's my, now my quest line. Because I, I just need some revenue. I could go I could always go and buy seeds and build another farm but I want to maybe plan for a very bountiful uh summer summer harvest kind of season. And uh the best way I can think about doing that is going into the mine and just getting the materials going as deep as one can go or as I can make it anyway we'll start off at 10 and see where it takes me already there's amethyst that's exciting it's not worth a lot but it's exciting that it's there right some bug meat what was that thing I gotcha. 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 It's kind of cute. It's like a little whack-a-mole type game. Oh, gotcha. Oh, there's another one. Oh, he got me. He's gonna get me again. I'm not paying attention, but I got a cherry bomb. So who's the real winner here? The answer is me. Oh, you, in the one one section? You serious? Leave me alone. Kind of didn't prepare for my uh, trip down here. Did I? No. No, I did not. I got a geode out of it, so I, I'm okay with that. That's worth it. Worth the, the struggle. Worth the frustration. Worth the pain. 
Not really, but... Ooh, a ladder immediately? Thank you. That was generous. But I will explore. Let's see, see what's on this level. Who do you think you are? Fuzzy little bee thing. Come on. Nope. Oh, you got me. <laughs> This should hold some coal. Yep, and a different ladder. I know I'm gonna need to slay the slime up there. I saw the copper and that was the first thing on my list. Oh, there's a guy here. In the in the sand. Just keep moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. I'm not doing a good job of keeping it moving. <laughs> I'll put uh, these materials off my main pocket. I don't think there's a si situation where I'm going to need that. And I'm going to eat the green algae. Ugh. Gross. Hopefully these, uh, oh. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I wanted a cave carrot, actually. That's what I was just about to say. I hope that these uh, crates contain some cave carrots. That would be nice. Oh, there's so many. This, this might be death. If I'm not careful. And I'm not being careful at all, actually. I'm just swinging for the fences. Leave me alone. Le oh my gosh, so many. Survive. Survive. That's all you need to do. Just survive. Ouch. And another one. I've been here too long. Whew. Yeah, my health is low as it can possibly go. I need to be careful. Need to tread with caution. That was definitely not treading with caution. Yikes. If I die, I, I absolutely deserve it. Not even a cave carrot in there. <laughs> All right, we made it to fifteen, but I'm not trusting of my uh, my abilities there to survive. <laughs> no, nope. I think I need to, if I decide to go down to the mine, I need to prepare with, like, food. Until then, I'll stick to, like, the first ten levels to kind of farm some, uh, some minerals and materials. Because that, that just was not great. Too close for comfort. Too close for comfort for me. Alright, I'm gonna sell that, I'm gonna sell that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And the amethyst. Why not? What's up, Casper? Okay. 
Okay. That white algae could be useful, so I'm going to keep it in my pocket. As I think the remainder of my day could be focused on maybe fishing. That is making me nervous, my health level. So <laughs> I'm going to eat the algae. It's definitely mundane to be fishing, but it's worth it. I think it's worth it. I enjoy it. <laughs> Look at that. Joja Cola. What more can one ask for? Some trash. Very nice. Some high quality trash is there. And a broken CD. Okay. Not my day. <laughs> Sell the garbage. Or at least get rid of it. So it's not there. Um, what else can I do? I could probably... Nah. I could see what sorts of things... need to do for this. I know it's like high quality uh, vegetables for certain things. Yeah. Alright. So we are in spring. I just sold everything. So that's great. <laughs> Gotta keep that in mind. That that needs to I need to uh, uh, complete those objectives. I'm, I'm like, I'm back in it now. The last stream I was like, what am I doing? How does this game work? And now I'm like, okay, these are the objectives. Let's try and hit them in a reasonable order. So I'm gonna go to the beach, see if there's anything to forage. If not, I will fish the night away. I got a fossil. One clam, two clam, an oyster. Another oyster. All right, so the bridge repair. What bridge is that? Let me think for a second. I don't... It's not the bridge at the beach here, is it? It might be. Ooh, I want that. Dang it. Just wasn't lining up the way I needed it to. Bridge to the quarry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once again, relying on you. <laughs> Pays off. Mm -hmm. I'm upset about that treasure chest. I had it. I had the fish. Ooh, woohoo. That fish was a feisty one. Ooh, it was an eel. Nice. That's one of the uh, things you can 
donate to in the community center. Whoa. Nope. Nope. Dang it. Ugh. I, I can't. I can't keep putting myself through that. I'm so mad at myself. Alright, there's a question mark here. 300 pieces of wood to fix the bridge. Yes. Clearly you were correct, Manderson. Yet again. It's worth it to come over here because there are... There's more, like, space to forage. Get some cool things like coral. And a sea urchin. And coral. And coral. And that's all I can see. It's a little dark. That was worth it. Ooh, I wonder... Just speaking out loud. I'm wondering if the community center has like a uh, beach foraging kind of check mark. So I'm going to go. Well, I picked up the daffodil, so I'm going to go see about that. That trip is worth it, even though it's dark and spooky. Not in here. It's pleasant in here. This is nice. I'd want this as a house for sure. What am I doing? <laughs> that was weird. Summer foraging, fall, construction, exotic. Yeah. I, th I guess they count as uh, sea creatures. My, that's my guess. Memory serves. They, they fit under the sea creature uh, designation. I just, I just thought it would be under, like, the foraging stack with, like, the spring, the summer, and the fall, and the winter. Oh, well. Just more things for me to sell if I couldn't donate. Like that eel. Ooh, maybe, maybe not the eel. Or the artifact. What am I doing? That eel could be food, right? Are you sustenance? You are. As much as I would love to sell you and give me money, I think I'm going to keep you. Because you are potential sustenance when I go down into the, the mine. Oh my gosh. The cat is on the bed. That's amazing. That's, that's cool. A sturdy ring. I'm slowly leveling things up. Wow, look at all that coin. That was a that was a good day. I had a good day of stuff there. Cool. Um Because of that, I might be contemplating um upgrading my watering can I'll think about it I do need more wood though now because I spent it all on that bridge that's okay plenty of trees for me to deforest directly challenges my personal philosophy on things, but video game characters gotta do what a video game character's gotta do. And that's okay. Get in my pocket, all you things.
Can you stone? That gave me a, a fair amount of things, I think. So I feel like I could... Oh yeah, the Egg Festival. Town Square, right. Forgot about that. Alright, well. Changing gears. <laughs> Egg Festival time. What's up? A lawn flamingo, a plush bunny, strawberry seeds. There's a there's a lot going on here. Sometimes I'll hide an egg too well and no one finds it. Well, until summer rolls around, then the hot air starts to bring out the rotten smell. Laughter. Try to eat at least three eggs every day. That surprises me not. This festival is all right, but I'm really looking forward to is the flower dance. Where are you going, sir? What you doing? Eggs definitely have a place in a, the well-balanced diet. Okay. This trio of uh, hooligans here. We used to do a rotten egg toss. Mayor Lewis put an end to that pretty quick. Searching for eggs is like going on a treasure hunt. Uh, my... what? I don't know. My nose. Oh, that's what he's saying. Okay. Um, let's see. I just talked to you. Even with my bad leg, I never miss a town festival. That's good. Abby's always loved the egg hunt ever since she was a tiny girl. Spring is a busy time of year, so it's nice to have a day off to catch up with friends. Yeah. Alright, let's get this... Show on the road. Yeah, I am ready for the egg hunt. I'll find the eggs. Find all of them. I forget how this goes. <laughs> oh, I'm going to beat those little kids. The annual spring egg hunt. Calm down, kiddos. You're going to need all your energy if you hope to find the most eggs and take home the exclusive prize. Now, is everyone ready? Oh, yeah. Let the egg hunt begin. Oh, I'm going to totally get eggs. I see... This. Got an egg. There's another... There's... Oh, there's so many eggs. I have two. I have three. Four. Thought I saw one down here. Yep. Five. Move, kids. Get out of my way. I want the eggs. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up. Thank you. Six. That's a rock, dude. Not an egg. Oh, there's a there's an egg back there. How do I get that? I guess I have to go around, huh? Well, there's an egg in the back of the truck, so it's worth it. Eight eggs. I feel like that was decent. Decent job. Wow, look at all these eggs. Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently, we'd have the cleanest town on this side of the Gem Sea. Laughter. And now the winner of this year's egg hunt. Abigail, ah. Boo, hiss. Here's your prize, Abigail. Enjoy. Well, that's it for this year's Egg Festival. Thanks for coming, everyone. I'm unhappy. <laughs> Feel like eight, eight eggs was enough. 
Not a fan of that. At least I have this cat. Yes, I'll go to sleep for the night. Progress saved. It looks to be a nice day out. Make sure every little plant has some water. All that cat does is sleep. It's just like my cat. I love it. Okay. So, we've got something to give to Gunther. And we have some more geodes to process. It's coming together. I'm going to fill up my watering can, actually. While I'm thinking about it. And ideally, I would like to uh, purchase a brand new building, if you wouldn't mind, game. I don't think they're open yet, though. 7.30 seems early, right? Nine, yeah. So we'll just kind of mill about, see if we can forge anything until uh, 9 a.m. comes around. Hello, birds. Goodbye, birds. I know that there's something about one of the bushes here, too. There's like a whole slew of like hidden items and stuff. I'd have to look it up. It's like a secret note or something. Well, since it's going to be nine, I'm going to see if uh, I can process those geodes. Since I'm all the way down here. Trash. Nothing. <laughs> Sometimes there's stuff. Hello, sir. I would like to process this geode if you don't mind. That was worth it. Um, wow, things are expensive. I'm going to prioritize uh, a building over new tools. Not the biggest fan of that, but that's what I feel like I should do. Almost went the wrong direction. Just love the music in this game, it's so good. All right, I would like to construct a farm building if you don't mind. Um, what else you got? A well, a silo, mill, a shed, a fish pond, a cabin, slime hush, shipping bin. Alright, so I need 2,000 more gold and more wood. I am severely uh, lacking in materials, so that's good.
Yeah, I need about 150 more pieces of wood. And about 2,000 more gold. It's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a grind. So I'll go get the wood first, I think. And proceed from there and see, see what I can do from there. Once I have like a, a nice little setup in terms of farm space, like um, like crops, and a couple of different buildings, then I'll focus on cultivating some relationships. But right now, I just want to get a functioning farm. Then we'll spend some time focusing on who I want to marry and all of that kind of stuff. And that's just the way I'm going to do it. That's the way I'm going to play. If you have a problem, I'm sorry, come back. Now, why would you just... I'm complaining about myself. The way I decide to do things. Yep. Silliness. I have no idea who I'm gonna pursue. In my other game, my wife is Abigail. So, I'm thinking I should maybe do somebody different as my, as my partner in the game. I don't think I'm restricted to females either, so I, there could be a... I have to look up like the benefits of each character. I know that Abigail would sometimes go into the mine, and that was cool, because she would like come back with stuff, and I, I was a fan of that. So it depends on the different, uh, I guess, perks of whoever you choose to partner up with. And that, that'll guide my decision. When I first played through, I'm like, oh, Abigail has purple hair. That's pretty cool. And that, that's what I went with, because it was different. Um, I'll do something a bit more strategic this time, I think. My energy is low. Let's pop that Joja Cola. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing. Okay. I'm starting to feel exhausted. I know that. Yeah, I'm aware. I'll eat a green bean. That helped a little bit. I'll eat another. Alright, and a third one. All right, I need a hundred more pieces of wood. I'm getting there. Take that, take that, take that. I think I should spend my energy on trees, actually. Do you have any suggestions on who I should uh, couple up with? You would know, Manderson. You know this game inside and out better than I do. So any tips would be per, uh, appreciated. I know I'm feeling exhausted again. You had no idea they had their own benefit? I just remember that Ab like if I talked to Abigail, she would uh, be like, hey, I went to the mine and I found like 10 copper ore. You want it? I'm like, yeah, sure. And she would uh, make food 
but th there's also something to be said about like continuing to cultivate the relationship after like the whole marriage ceremony deal now that I think about it because there's like there's a max right and I think you can or like there's a minimum that you can get to have them like marry you in the game but um you can exceed that if you continue to like give them their favorite item or whatever and there's different uh checkpoints and cutscenes you can get after you do like the initial marriage that's what i remember anyway it's been a while since i did the whole relationship part of this game um energy is real low kind of feel like i should uh I don't want to eat the eel. I should maybe go to bed. <laughs> not not exactly what I wanted to do, but that's okay. Ooh, yeah. I think I want to craft that. That's the thing I want to craft. Because that's an artisan good. And that's worth the cash. The cash money. And it's raining again. I know you're getting started as a gardener, so I wanted to give you a little tip. Most crops only grow in one season. When summer arrives, your spring crops will all die out, so plan ahead. Thank you. Um, I want to see about crafting a thing. What do I need for the tapper? Two copper bars? Psh, done. I'll do that. That's worth it to me. I'll do two. I know it ate a bunch of my wood, but I feel like cash is king. And what better trees than these two right here? Thank you. Thank you. Now let's see what's up here. Let's see what I can get. Looks like more copper and stone than anything. I assume that as I upgrade my farm and stuff, that this will upgrade too. Like the little mine on the hilltop. Or I guess quarry or, or whatever. I would hope so. Because if this is just giving me stone and copper, I'll be disappointed in my choice of uh, farm layout. Let's see what's in my pockets. Alright. I might go to the actual mine. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I have that eel. <laughs> oh, hello. Give me you. I see you, Sam and Barry. Spawns better stuff as my mining improves. Yeah, so that's what I was hoping for. Thank you. That's the way it should be. I like assumed it, but I wasn't entirely sure. Oh, hello, worms. Mine. I think that's true for the quarry, too. Oh, I, I guess it is true. I would assume it to be true. Salmon berry. I forgot to look for the salmon berries. I probably passed a bunch. Whoops. Alright, let's go to level 5. Let's see what I can scrounge up. 
And by that I mean, let's see how many slimes I can kill to complete that quest. Because I have three more to go for. Sometimes when you smack the rocks, they give you access to a deeper hole. Rather than just the uh, ladder. But I got the ladder, so I'll take the ladder. Earth crystal. Uh, I'm just now realizing, are earth crystals geodes? No, okay. I thought it, w it would fall into the geode category. There's, there's like the ice ones, there's the normal ones, there's some red ones, I think. And then like the omni geode, which is like purpley. These are pleasant sounds I'm hearing in my ears. Slime or slim pickings here. Goodness. That took forever to find just another one. I think in my first playthrough, um, mining was the first thing I like completely leveled up. And then foraging came. Or it could have been... No, it was foraging first, then mining. Those are the two things that I spend the most amount of time just doing and completing. Hello, slime. I have good news for you. You are the one. You're number 10. Congrats. You did it. We did it. Enter the Adventurer's Guild. Yep. Totally going to do that right now. It's locked. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Alright. Then we'll just, uh, we'll wait. I've got... I can fish. See if I can catch at this lake area. You're mine, fish. I'm committed to you now. I don't even have to do anything. Thanks for the carp. Open up. Open up. Thanks. Need a new sword? Cool. What's up, sir? Do you, do you talk? Gil, come back when you've got something to show me, kid. Okay. I want... Three to seven damage. There is a ring that... Makes things light up, I think. Two to five damage. Yep, wooden blade. Can I sell this to you? Is this something you'll take? Yes, it is, okay. Now I have a better sword. It's coming together. Coming together. I have some copper to cook. And that's, pro that's probably going to do it for the stream, actually. I didn't realize I was almost at two hours. I just get so lost in the, the world of Stardew Valley. That's all I want to play right now. And it takes a lot of discipline to not touch it constantly. I lacked that discipline with uh, Hades. I couldn't... I couldn't stop myself from playing off stream. 
I'm not even sorry. Oh, I can throw some things in the in the thingy in the meantime. Which would be my carp and the earth crystal, salmonberry, and the slime. All right, cook faster. Thank you. Um, so the next time that I play this will probably be on Wednesday, unless I decide that, like, I f I'm feeling a uh, Hades stream. So I have to decide what objectives I want to accomplish. Chances are it'll be some farm buildings. Um, and that's more or less it that I can think of that I immediately want to accomplish. Reach level 40 in the mine, that's not a bad goal. Reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow, that's not a bad goal. Yeah, I'm just not sure sure what I want to do. Yeah, I think I got everything over here. On this side, anyway. Take you, I'll take you. Take this. Take that. Oh, some salmon berries just chilling. I'd also like to upgrade my equipment quite a bit, uh, just so that I'm better equipped for the day. And the mine, the mine especially. I'm going to keep that eel in my pocket until it starts smelling bad, I feel. I'm not sure what to do with it. Alright. Let's head to bed, go to sleep for the night, and uh, that's that's going to do it for the, uh, the stream. See how much money I make. 135? Not great. <laughs> but th thank you uh, for hanging out. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, let me know if this like 4 p.m. to around 6 p.m. time frame works. Like I said, I'm craving feedback and I'm experimenting things. So uh, I'll see. I'll see what I'm happy with, see what works best for me and my schedule. But of course, I also take into consideration those that watch. So let me know. Otherwise, you can catch this on YouTube. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I appreciate that as well. And I'll take any feedback from the YouTube folks just as much as the, the Twitch audience. Um, hope you have a good night. And like I said, thanks for hanging out. See ya.